Hello everyone, back to our latest Star Wars video. So we put out a video uh, last week talking about the potential release date for the third and final Rise of Skywalker uh, full theatrical trailer. Um, it, we said probably going to be the 21st of October. Got a little bit more confirmation uh, of that um, now. Uh, so we're at uh, newsweek.com. Going to go through their, uh, through their pigs talking about the potential release date for the uh, Rise Skywalker trailer 3. There's also a little bit of leaked information as well about what's going to be in that trailer. So um, I don't think you really um, say that it's spoilers because we don't talk about a trailer. But if you would rather not know anything about Rise Skywalker until it's released in uh, December, then probably turn the video off. But we're only talking about trailers. We're not talking about, uh, we're not talking about kind of the, the film itself. So I'll get on with uh, going through that for you very shortly. Just say that if you're enjoying the Star Wars uh, content here on the channel, that I don't have the chance to upload uh, enough. But if you enjoy what we do upload, then please like, share and subscribe. And let us know in the comments uh, what you think about it. So as I say, we're at newsweek.com. Uh, the piece is uh, Star Wars Rise Skywalker trailer free release and ticket sales date may have leaked. And the piece was uh, released today, 10th of October 2019, uh, by Andrew Wallum. So if we scroll down, what they're saying is so far an April teaser trailer and a special look from Disney's D23 Expo are all that's been revealed from the upcoming Star Wars Episode, episode 9, The Rise of Skywalker. But a potential new leak suggests the second trailer for the concluding film in the free trilogy saga will premiere on Monday the 21st of October during the Monday Night Football halftime commercial break on ESPN and that is what we said uh, last week so it's just added confirmation really that 21st of uh, October is the day uh, for this citing the YouTube Star Wars show Black Series Rebels rumour site StarWarsNews.net Net reports the linked Rise of Skywalker 3 trailer release date as all but confirmed, even anticipating an announcement for the trailer the day before on the 20th of October. Presumably that will be at StarWars.com, I would have thought. Um, and they say, but without the uh, fi without that official confirmation, Star Wars fans will have to decide themselves how much credence to extend this room. Of 21st of October has been uh, the day that people have been talking about for a long time uh, now for this uh, trailer. So that's when I personally think it's going to be. Uh, they carry on, according to StarWarsNews.net, Black Series Rebels have been correct about substantial things before. We have a very good reason to trust their claim, says uh, StarWarsNews.net. While Black Series Rebels have a rumor have a rumored or leaked release date, Star Wars leak site Making Star Wars has potential details on what the trailer may reveal, citing anonymous sources. Where it gets a little bit spoilerish, uh, but again, we're only talking about a trailer. We're not talking about the film itself. Uh, so, citing anonymous sources and unspecified rumors, the reliable source for Star Wars leaks, posted a detailed description of what's in the second Rise of Skywalker trailer early in October. According to the rumours, the trailer focuses heavily on Emperor Palpatine, Ian McDermott, who was believed dead at the end of Star Wars Episode Six: Return of the Jedi. He wasn't believed dead, he definitely was dead at the end of Return of the Jedi. Whether they're retconning that uh, for the right Skywalker remains to be seen, but there's no doubt about it at the end of Return of the Jedi, Palpatine uh, was 100% uh, deceased. Uh, it continues opening with Kylo Ren, Adam Driver, this is the trailer, uh, opening with Kylo Ren, Adam Driver landing on an alien world and meeting an older Darth Sidious, Palpatine's Sith persona. The rest of the trailer shows footage from other areas of the movie, but ends with a voiceover line from the resurrected evil Emperor. 
Uh, and it continues. Directed by J.J. Abrams, Star Wars. Uh, directed by J.J. Abrams, uh, Star Trek and The Force Awakens. For a script by Chris Terrio, Rai Skywalker is meant to wrap up both the new trilogy and The Force, uh, that began with The Force Awakens, and the overall Star Wars saga, uh, which began in 1977, with the original Star Wars. There is currently no Star Wars movie release dates beyond the Rise Skywalker, though both the Last Jedi uh, director Ryan Johnson and the duo who created Game of Thrones are developing new, uh, new series. And it just goes um, on uh, about uh, the trailer. So assuming the rumour is accurate, Rise Skywalker Trailer 3 will premiere during uh, the broadcast of New York Jets versus New England Patriots game, which begins at 8.15 Eastern Time uh, on October 21st. As with Last Jedi and Force Awakens, the trailer release will likely coincide with the announcement of ticket pre-sales for the movie. Uh, right, so more confirmation for the 21st of October. I think that's the main takeaway, but um, this definitely seems like the trailer will be dropping on uh, on the 21st of uh, October. Um, it's going to be quite late in the evening uh, in America, on the East Coast of America, so it'll be even later where I am in the UK, so no doubt we'll discuss this on the Tuesday, which will, of course, be the 22nd uh, of October. One th Interesting little tidbit that I took out of that, out of that, is that they say that um, the trailer begins with Kylo Ren meeting Darth Sidious, an older Darth Sidious. They don't say an older Palpatine. They don't say uh, an older Emperor. They say Darth Sidious, which is quite an interesting way of uh, of framing the um, the scene, because you would think they would probably use an, the Emperor. Um, the Emperor was already very ancient in Return of the Jedi. Uh, so exactly how, what they're getting at with that, I'm not sure. But maybe they're going to go something along the lines of uh, Darth Sidious and the Emperor's uh, personas split somehow. So the Emperor was killed at the end of Return of the Jedi, but the, uh, Darth Sidious uh, lived Um was still alive, perhaps, at the end of Return of Jedi, and continues to carry on. But how they would work, I'm not sure, because we know from the prequels that they're all the same character, Palpatine, Chancellor Palpatine, um, Senator Palpatine, as he was in The Phantom Menace, and uh, Supreme Chancellor Palpatine, as he becomes, uh, and then, of course, uh, Darth Sidious, and also uh, the Emperor, as he is at the end of Revenge of the Sith. They are all one and the same person, um, just different personas, different fac facets, if you like, uh, different facades of uh, of the same person. So how how they would um, get away with that, su suggesting that the Emperor was in indeed killed at the end of Return of the Jedi, but Darth Sidious, who is the same person, or throughout the prequels, and you would think the originals, um, they were the same person, how, quite, how they would uh, play that, I'm not sure. And... As I've said about this in the past, it is very, um, in past videos, it is very, um, you know, it's very risky bringing back Palpatine for this. It could either turn out to be really, really good, or it could totally destroy everything, really. It has the potential, if this isn't done right, it has the potential to destroy everything we uh, we knew about Star Wars in the originals, in the prequels. I won't say in the earlier sequels because nothing in the earlier sequels really connects back to uh, to the originals and um, to the prequels. So they won't be damaged because they don't have any connection anyway to what's gone before, really. But um, certainly if this isn't done right, it could be an absolute disaster. It could destroy everything. Uh, about Star Wars, uh, really, um, certainly the prequels and the originals. But if it's done right, that's if it's done wrong, if it's done right, you know, it could be really, really good, and it could turn everything on its head, and if it makes sense, um, which I'm struggling to make sense of it, really, how they can bring Palpatine back in this way, I thought it would probably come back as like uh, as like a spirit, um so uh, some sort of uh, spiritual resurrection 
from uh, from hell, if you like. That's the sort of thing I was um, anticipating. But I think it's quite interesting that they're saying that Kylo Ren meets Darth Sidious in particular. We thought that Darth Sidious was Palpatine. We thought Darth Sidious is Palpatine, is the Emperor, that they're all the same person and persona. But they seem to be, in that piece anyway, it seems to be suggesting that Darth Sidious is kind of split off from the Emperor somehow. So food for thought, and uh, it's going to be interesting to see what they do with the Rise of Skywalker. It's sort of um, got my curiosity going. As you know, I've not been a fan of the sequel trilogy whatsoever. I'm very, very down on the sequel trilogy. And uh, it's got my interest, though, this, how they're going to do it. I suppose that's what they want. So I suppose, really, I'm playing into, um, you know, I'm playing into uh, to the mouse, really, to, to, to what the mouse wanted. I think they want people to be intrigued and interested and wondering exactly how you can bring uh, the Emperor back, how you can bring Palpatine back, how you can bring Sidious back after we see him definitively killed at the end of uh, Return of the Jedi. So I think that this is what they wanted. They wanted people to be interested and intrigued. I'm interested and intrigued. I'm going to be interested to see whether this, this does work. Uh, in the film, or whether it is a total and utter shambles. The moment the jury is out, the uh, the sequel trilogy so far, in my opinion, has been a total and utter shambles. So I don't hold great hopes that they're going to play this right. The only thing that's at the back of my mind is that they keep telling us George Lucas was involved and bringing Palpatine back and turning everything on its head, but before we knew, that is a very Lucas-esque thing to do. But of course, we haven't seen or heard anything from George about his involvement in the Rise Guy. We don't know whether that is also just hype and spin from the mouse to try and uh, to try and hook us in, reel us in, if you like. Um, so until we hear something from George, I will think before Rise Skywalker is released, there's got to be some sort of confirmation from George Lucas one way or another just how much he was involved with this. If he gets a credit, if he gets a, a credit at the end, not just be based on characters by credit, but I mean a proper story credit. If he's listed uh, in the credits as... Um, uh, story by then that would be pretty big confirmation because of course that would give him a, a, a payday if you listen in the credits you get a payday so um that would give him a payday if he's listed in the credits as part of story by george lucas then um that would be confirmation it has been really heavily involved in this if there's no credit uh, story credit or whatnot and it's just the story created uh, characters created by george lucas or based on characters created by george lucas if that's all there is then that will raise doubts about how much he's been involved but i think at some point uh maybe up when this thing premieres in december at some point there's got to be an interview with george lucas where he is undoubtedly going to be asked how much he helped with this and uh george is an honest person so he will he will let us know if it's just a very slight flimsy involvement he'll tell us if it was more um, you know, if it, if it's more involved, then uh, I'm sure he'll let us know uh, about that as well. But I am interested. I am intrigued about how this is going to play out. What do you think about this? Do you think that it is an interesting tidbit that uh, they're sort of suggesting Kylo Ren meets Darth Sidious rather than the Emperor or rather than Palpatine? Um, or do you think it's just uh, the way that it's been phrased and there's nothing really uh, there's nothing really in it? Let me know what you think in the comments. Uh, we will, of course, be discussing Trailer 3 when it, uh, when it airs next week. It's going to be late on Monday night where I am in the UK, so I won't be able to get to it until Tuesday next week. And it may be quite late on in the day on Tuesday, actually before I manage to uh, upload, because I'll be busy with uh, my day job, which is weather videos. Right, that's all for now. Please like, share, subscribe, let me know in the comments what you think. And that's all for now, though, and thanks for watching.